What up, internet? Welcome to another episode of Work Smarter, the series where we share tips, tools, and tricks to automate your workflow and help you accomplish things faster. Today, we're going to be talking about backups. Backups are one of the most important things for freelancers, creatives, and really anyone these days, and the thing that almost everybody doesn't do. Recently, there was a big ransomware attack that left a lot of people locked out of their data, and a lot of that could have been prevented by having an easily accessible backup. So my question to you, if your hard drive crashed right now, how long would it take you to get your data back, to get working, to get your client's files? Are you able to do it within a couple hours, or are you completely screwed? So let's check out a really simple backup solution that doesn't go into like crazy depths for you know like filmmakers and things like that, but this is a basic thing that every single person should have and is really easy to set up and doesn't really cost much money. So there's really no excuse. You could do it this weekend and get all your data secure and safe because it's not a matter of if your drive will crash, it's a matter of when. It will die, you will lose your files, so be prepared. Let's go. So creating an automated backup system is actually super easy and there's three things you need. First, you have to figure out what size of hard drive you need. Go to your computer and check how big the hard drive that you'll need to back up on your computer is. And you generally want it to be like 1.5 times bigger or so. So let's say you have a 500 gigabyte drive, you should probably aim to get a one terabyte backup drive. If you want, if you have you know, two gigs, try to get a three gig one. And the reason for this is that your backup will actually save multiple versions of files and like fill up that empty space. So it's always good to have more space than you do on your computer. So you can have several versions of your most recent documents. That way, for example, if you save over a Photoshop file that you've been working for hours on in the middle of the night and you can't stay awake anymore and you don't know what you're doing and you just delete all your files, you can just go back a couple of versions and retrieve your file that you didn't mess up in the past. The second thing is to go get a hard drive. A couple things to watch for. Um, I would recommend getting a portable drive, something like this. This is a Western Digital one. In terms of brands, uh, I've linked a bunch of my favorites that I've used over and over again. I've honestly bought like 30 or 40 uh, different drives. Check those out uh, below. Why you want a portable one is because the bigger hard drives that are like desktop ones, they require a power cable. So this is easy. You just literally plug it into this and plug the back into your computer and you don't need any other wires. It's really easy to carry around, uh, which will come in later. Important thing is to make sure it's uh, a relatively fast drive. So the transfer speed is important. You'll be transferring a lot of data. So make sure you get a USB 3 uh, cable, which is like the blue ones here, or a USB-C cable. Basically, whatever the fastest one for your computer is, that's really what you want. Beyond that, in terms of brands, I would stick to more kind of like popular brands. Like I mentioned, Western Digital or Seagate are good. The thing is like all drives will fail eventually. It's not like you're gonna find the perfect brand and it'll like work forever. So cool, you know how much space you need. You went out and got your drive. Now it's time to pick the software. Like most of you are probably using Mac computers, so we're gonna do this based on Time Machine. Time Machine allows you to set it and it'll just like automatically back up on a schedule. Um, there's other software you can use and we'll link some for Windows computers below, but as a bare basic, I would recommend Time Machine. It takes two minutes to set up. There's a couple last things that are good to remember. So for example, the recent ransomware attack, it can attack uh, drives that are plugged into your computer. So if you're if you have just one backup, you know you're not backing up multiple times to multiple different sources. I would recommend generally keeping your drive disconnected from your computer. Connect it when you want to back it up, and then disconnect it in between. It's a little more work in terms of it's not always backing up the latest thing. But if there's some major issue or major virus, then at least you have a buffer of a week or so to catch it before it makes it onto your backup. Try to do it once a week uh, is a good bet. Another important thing is if you work uh, in an office or something like that, or you work out of your home, I would actually pull your hard drive and take it to a different location. You should really be storing at least one backup offsite in case there's a fire, someone breaks in, uh, you have all your files. Given the system, it's really simple and not really meant for like large scale or tons of files, but this is a basic backup option for people who just have a lot of valuable stuff on their computer. You know, it could be your tax information from last year, it could be your family photos, uh, back it up. 
If you wanna go beyond that, we'll talk in future videos about the way we back up our files and archive them. You know, we're going through terabytes of data. Um, so it's quite a bit different for creatives, filmmakers, photographers, we'll cover that. We'll also talk about working in the cloud, which is another easy way to start getting things uh, just kind of like always having a permanent backup. And we'll also look at other software that kind of takes it beyond Time Machine and kind of one click options like that. Now there's no excuse, take some time, take an hour or two this weekend, figure out how big a drive you need, go buy that drive, you know, get Prime, get same day shipping, life's good, and set it up so that going into next week, you know, your files are secure, uh, you have that reassurance for yourself, for people you work with, um, and just have an extra level of protection. So I really recommend you do it this weekend. Uh, let us know how it goes. If you have any other questions, let us know in the comments. Please share this video with your friends who don't back up their shit uh, and guilt them into it, because it will fail any day now. It's about to happen. Hit the like button if you like this video and be sure to subscribe to catch future videos about other ways to automate your work. Uh, stories about creative entrepreneurship and creative collaborations in the city and abroad. And we're really excited to do more of these. Let us know what you think. You know, are they helpful? Is there anything else you want to learn about? Uh, let us know in the comments. Thanks a lot. Bye.